So we're going to extract venom from a uh, West African gaboon adder. And here the snake is not happy. He's telling us of his displeasure. Now, <clears throat> these snakes are very powerful. If you try and pin the snake and grab it, that snake can, with his body, injure his own spine. He can break ribs when you do that. So what we do with these snakes is we use two snake tongs on the snake. Right. The initial tongue I want to place in the middle so I can control the body. So I've got control over the body like that. The next one I'm going to grab him behind the head. Now I quickly change, I pin him with there with my foot, grab him behind the head. Okay, and there I've got the snake. Just pick him up. And there we go. Right, so without injuring the snake, I've now secured the snake. And we're going to now get him to bite onto this to get that venom. Uh, as you can see, he's destroying the, the uh, parafilm. The parafilm is just there to keep dust out of the container and also to push this membrane back on the fangs. So we've got the membrane pushed back. I'm just going to hook his fangs over the edge of the jar. You can see his fangs there. And then we've got the fangs. Okay, impressive fangs. You don't want those things to go into you. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get some more venom. No, he's, he's kind of done his trick. He's, he wasn't a happy snake, so he's expelled his venom. Okay. The venom glands lie just here, so if you just do a gentle massage towards the fang, you can often get more venom out. Yeah, it looks to me like he has expelled all his venom. Oh, there's, there's a few drops coming out of this side. You can see some more coming out. Here we go. Another drop. Another drop. There's another drop from the other fang coming out there. It's got double fangs on the left hand side. One fang is going to shed. Gets replaced by a new fresh fang that's nice and sharp. That one lost another two months or so, gets replaced again. There we go. All safely completed. Different color than mamba venom. Mamba venom is colorless like water. The adders, puff adder, garoon adder and the cobras have a yellow venom. Let me show you what's in the venom. Check here. We shed a fang. So this fang is on the right hand side. So he shed the right hand fang. And on the left hand side there were two fangs there. So that fang wasn't loose enough to shed during the milking process. So that one will probably shed in the next two or three days. But this one was loose enough to fall into the venom. Those fangs are hollow like a hypodermic needle. So you can imagine that thing going into your tissue, injecting large quantities of venom. It's a serious bite. Let's be careful with these snakes. They are very dangerous.